Hey everybody, this is Mike with IdahoNews.com. I'm here at Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center in Idaho Falls, where we have reports that a fire broke out in one of the rooms. Um, all we, what I know so far is they are still, you know, firefighters are working to determine exactly where the fire was or if it was just smoke and what the cause was. We should be getting updates here in just a few minutes from uh, Carrie Hammond with the Idaho Falls Fire Department and Colleen Neiman with Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center. Let me flip this around, show you what's going on. A large presence from the Idaho Falls Fire Department here. Um, earlier, firefighters, if you can see in the background the ladder, uh, we're climbing up onto the uh, roof here. We're still waiting on more information. We should be getting updates here soon from the fire department as well as the hospital um, as what we know so far is the firefighters are working to determine exactly where the smoke was coming from um, and what the cause was um, but we do have reports of a fire that broke out somewhere in one of the rooms inside of eastern idaho regional medical center in idaho falls It does appear that some hospital personnel have been evacuated. Yeah, though not sure exactly how many and who they are. Um, it's likely they were from one of the wings of the hospital where the fire and the smoke was was at. Though again, we're still waiting to get that information confirmed. It would appear that firefighters are focusing much of their attention on the northeast side of the hospital. Though from what we know so far, they are continuing to work to identify the exact location of where the smoke and or fire uh, broke out inside the building. We're still waiting on information from the Idaho Falls Fire Department and Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center uh, to find out exactly what happened and what's going on. Uh, we'll
Winslow Fire is that there was a call of a fire in the building or smoke. Um, so far they're working to determine exactly where that was coming from and what the cause was. And we were waiting for more information from the fire department and the hospital as they're working to gather all the details. If you're just joining us, we're here at the Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center in Idaho Falls where there were reports of fire or smoke in one of the rooms. We're not exer sure exactly where or what the cause was. We're waiting for more information from the Idaho Falls Fire Department and the ho hospital spokeswoman. We've got a large presence here from the Idaho Falls Fire Department. with multiple engines and a ladder. It would appear the firefighters are focusing much of their attention on the northeast side of the building uh, from what I can see from here. We're waiting just to get more details from the fire department and hospital as they gather all the information so we can get you the most correct and accurate information on what exactly happened and what is going on. here so um, right after uh, 12 o'clock today approximately 1205 we uh, received an alert of a fire coming in from the fire alarm here at Ermic um, as we did a full response uh, we located a room uh, near radiology and near the ER that was uh, fully smoke filled uh, upon investigation and as we cleared that smoke and uh, evacuated personnel in that in that area we located a mechanical room that was um, smoke filled uh, heavily charged with smoke due to 
an electrical fire in one of the components there in that in that room uh, that was uh, for radiology. Uh, we're working now to uh, resolve that issue, verify that there's no extension of fire. Uh, again, we didn't see any fire upon entry. Uh, it only was smoke, uh, and it does appear that it was isolated to a uh, mechanical uh, type device in that mechanical room. So uh, we are checking for extension, making sure that there is no fire, making sure that we do have a cool down, uh, trying to get uh, Ermic and the uh, necessary personnel back in the back into another job there. Were there any personnel or patients that were injured through this? So I I have not heard of any um, injuries related to the to the smoke. Um, there was smoke in the hallway and in the mechanical room. Uh, we did evacuate. Ermic did a great job evacuating early and getting their personnel and the patients to areas of safety. And so we have not heard of any injuries or smoke inhalation uh, events uh, on any people here. Do you know roughly how many people have been evacuated and you have a time frame on when they may be able to go back to work? I don't know that number. I don't know how many people were evacuated. We have closed that portion of uh, radiology and a portion of that um, wing uh, to personnel. And we're just uh, playing this a little bit by ear, trying to make sure that we do have um, that we don't have any extension at all and that we, we do have this fire completely maintained out. You said that it was near the uh, emergency room. Is that being affected? Has that part of the building been closed off? Um, it has been closed off. All of the uh, smoke and, and fire doors and fire stopping, uh, all of those devices have worked. Um, all of them were closed down. We are working with uh, the engineers and the, uh, the maintenance personnel here to evacuate that smoke out of the area and try to get everybody back to normal. Do you know how big of an area was affected square foot wise? I don't know that answer. What are they still working on right here? Because I saw that they were still going up, trying to find something with the smoke coming out. Can you explain to me that? So we do still have some smoke coming out through the venting uh, from that first floor up through the roof. Uh, we're just verifying that we don't have any extension, that it is just passive uh, smoke coming through those uh, vents and making sure that we don't have any extension in any of the walls uh, from that unit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have a rough estimate of how long uh, it will be before you've been able to determine exactly what's the cause was and when? Um, we quickly we quickly identified the unit. It was pretty obvious uh, what the unit was that actually uh, was the problem. But um, you know we will complete an invest a full investigation of this fire and, and determine what exactly it was. But again, we're still at the early stages of this event and making sure that we don't have any other problems. Do you know how long it took to detect the fire? Because you didn't see the fire, you just saw the smoke. Do you know how long it took? Yeah, it was all smoke related, and so the alarm system uh, activated immediately. I don't have the times, but um, it was a rapid, full response of uh, everybody that was necessary. Um, you know, um, I don't have those times. How many crews and uh, firefighters do you have here today? So, there's probably 16 to 18 personnel on scene, uh, three engines, three ambulances, uh, all for um, both fire response and for uh, EMS care if, if we need it. Uh, several chiefs are on scene. Um, obviously, the rest of the city is still actively working. We've brought in another battalion chief um, and some additional personnel so that um, the rest of the city and the calls that basically do come in and handle. And you said the departments that were affected were the radiology? As far as I know, what was affected right now is radiology, a portion of the ER, um, but mainly that radiology. Room. So the whole building wasn't evacuated? That's correct. Um, we sheltered in place the majority of the hospital, majority of the patients and the nurses were all sheltered in place using a uh, passive smoke um, uh, devices uh, to minimize where that actually smoke was, um, controlling it into this wing. And so uh, operation in most of the hospital and the safety of the, the patients and the, and the staff here at Ermac was number one priority. And so we made sure that those areas were protected, um, made sure that we could leave those uh, people in place um, and evacuated those that were necessary. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Okay.
Just give you a look now that we've gotten the full information. Uh, it sounds like it was likely an electrical fire due to some equipment in the radiology wing near the AR that the uh, radiology has been closed off and evacuated as well as part of the emergency room uh, facilities. Those have all been closed off and evacuated due to smoke. Uh, we've heard that there is still smoke uh, coming out of the vents and uh, firefighters are working to make sure that the fire, the electrical fire that appeared to have started in some radiological equipment has not spread. So as we walk down to the northeast side of the hospital, take a look at exactly what's been going on here. This is Mike Price with EastIdahoNews.com here in Idaho Falls. Please stick with East Idaho News. We'll keep you updated on any other developments and let you know exactly what's been going on. So keep following us here at EastIdahoNews.com.